Roadside Attractions has released the official trailer for Whitney, ahead of its premiere at Cannes. The documentary is an in-depth look at the life of the beloved and deeply troubled icon, Whitney Houston. Kevin McDonald is and directs this feature, bringing his Oscar-winning skill along with him. McDonald won an Academy Award for the historical documentary, One Day in September, about the kidnapping of Israeli athletes at the 1972 Munich Olympics. He also directed additional documentaries such as, A Brief History of Errol Morris, Life in a Day, and, Marley. He also directed Forrest Whitaker to an Academy Award with The Last King of Scotland in 2006. And now McDonald goes deep into the life and career of Whitney Houston. The singer began her career in the 1970s, singing back up to the likes of Chaka Khan and Lou Rawls. Moving into the 80s, she added modeling to her credits, becoming only the second woman of color to appear on the cover of Seventeen magazine. Houston's life changed forever when she met Clive Davis, who wanted to sign her immediately. Her first album, The Eponymous, Whitney Houston, hit in 1985, and, You Give Good Love, became her first single. She went on to become one of the highest-selling female singers in history. She was the only artist to chart seven consecutive number one singles in the U.S. Houston made her big screen debut opposite Kevin Costner in The Bodyguard in 1992. She followed that with the Forrest Whitaker directed Waiting to Exhale in 1995 and The Preacher's Wife in 1996. That film was a remake of the 1947 film The Bishop's Wife with Cary Grant and Loretta Young. In 1997, she starred as the fairy godmother in Disney's TV movie version of Cinderella. Her final film, Sparkle, was released several months after her tragic death in 2012. For this documentary, McDonald spoke with friends, relatives, colleagues, and associates. It is a frank look at the singer's life, and all the ways that things went wrong. It premieres later today at Cannes and will be in theaters for U.S. audiences on July 6. What do you think of this trailer for, Whitney? Are you planning to see the film this summer? Comment below and share.